I am Heather Wald, Chief Creative Officer of the Wikimedia Foundation and Head of the Communications Department. Well, I'll tell you about the most personal one to me. So when I was a child or a kid at home, my Nana and Papa, my grandparents, used to talk about this woman who as larger than life, this person that my grandmother used to work for, who is an antique dealer in Scotland, in Edinburgh. And the stories were outrageous about, you know, cigar boxes of jewels on the floor and this silver fish in the window that she refused to sell to the king. Just things that just outlandish stories. And when I was in the UK, just on a whim, I decided to look up and see if there was any information about her. And it turns out she's real. And there's a lot of information. Her name is was Esther Henry. And she had a shop uh, called the Luck and Booth. And uh, so many wild stories. And I wrote her a Wikipedia article about her. Some of the main things the communications department does uh, is, let's see, we are now beginning with our movement communications team to work directly with the community and to specialize the content that we share, meaning the narrative, the information, what the Wikimedia Foundation is doing to ensure that it is clear and that people understand and that the movement can engage with us in what we're doing. We also deal with the press and journalists around the world. We help write communication strategies for all kinds of things that we might announce or share with the world. But most of all, we build and protect the perception of this incredible movement and wonderful volunteers because we want them we want all of this to be around and to grow for a long, long time. I'm proud of the way the Wikimedia Foundation and the community responded to COVID. The, we always have um, community experts in governance and topics and collab online collaboration, working hard. But in particular around COVID, there was a lot of effort for good, true information. And that was noticed around the world. So that information was used by other sources. And there was a collaboration with the World Health Organization to make sure that people around the world know what's going on with COVID and know how to protect themselves. And I thought that was really important and really inspiring. In this year's annual plan, we are formalizing and growing the movement communications team. They are tasked with holding the important connection between the Wikimedia Foundation and our communities around the world. We hope to begin putting in place um, regional representatives, connections, the ability to understand nuance and culture across our movement, to provide a platform on DIFF for people to share their information in many languages, and to just get, just get better, to you know, increase trust between the Wikimedia Foundation and the community. It is so important to us to do that. I would say we're very, we're explicitly doing two things. We're explicitly supporting uh, the other strategies that the foundation is focusing on. The first one being thriving movement. So putting all of our effort and focus into our movement, into implementing movement strategy, into understanding our communities and helping them grow. And we plan to participate in all of those activities happening across all the departments of the, of the foundation. We are also really excited about Thriving Foundation. It's so important for us to be healthy 
and to be a strong organization in order to support our incredible movement that we're putting aside the time this year. We've often said it, but not had the time. We're putting aside the time for, to work together, to improve our working practices, to improve the sense of belonging at the foundation, and to really become an inclusive place that reflects the world and our movement.